the mayor, why don't you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Happily, my boy. It involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one she'd enjoy being reminded of. The giant was called Grim. And he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir while the thunder lummox slept. Sadly for Thrym, he didn't always think with his brain. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong mead, but he saw an opportunity here. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants know the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back Mjolnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. And oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep... ...keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Ulrik, you were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's <laughs> bones and spread them across <laughs> the land. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will... Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go! should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Sorry for the giant with the flaming sword? Suit the brave. Of course. We've spoken so much of frost giants. It's about time we instead met the most 
fiery giant of all. Back when Ymir first emerged from Ginungagop, it was Suart who followed next. He came from Muspelheim, the Fire Realm, bringing heat to the young cosmos, conjuring the sun from his primordial flame. But let's come back to that flaming sword, shall we? Suart the Brave forged his sword of flame for one purpose alone. To burn down Asgard when Ragnarok comes at last. His destiny is to fall at the hands of Thor and Odin, but in so doing, strike the blow that leaves their realm in ash and ruin. And from that destruction, the world can be born anew. Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping, ever honing his fiery blade. Ray, generous suit, who knows he lives but to his doom. All because he chooses to serve a grand cycle so much bigger than himself. To truly embrace your purpose and the patience and sacrifice it demands is to ensure your day will come. Do you think we'll be there? When that day comes? I've seen enough of war between the gods. But you, little brother, who can say? These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. What would you say to me? Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. The final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Thank you. 
We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! She says she'll honor our request. Eldifagna. And reunite us? In Okay. You're right. I told you so. I told you so. You are naive, old boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly. He caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. What's up ahead? Are we attacking? of one, yes. A very, very giant. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. What happened to the survivors? Oh, 
Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. Do we fight them? And I'll find light crystal. In Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Hey, Harden World Pizza. That's Andy. Atreus, follow me.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Ready. Wow, that was uh, something that the fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Let's do it. Oh, no, we can't forget you. Something else for you, then?
Or, never mind that. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? So what are you doing up here? I'm on a hunt. For scap slag. Slap what? Scap. Slag. Ores with specific impurities that are the key to unlocking all sorts of unique qualities. One man's waste product is another man's artistic medium. Okay. Well, we're off to get a chunk from the tip of the giant's chisel. The big chisel buried under all the ice? Ha! Huh. Good luck with that. Jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. Oh, I happen to think he was dashing. Careful! My shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. Keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Just give the word. Roma! Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well... The chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystal for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You're all welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. I know that one! Winter that Quiet! Doesn't like music either. Got it! Write it. House. Tuma. Fuck. Gotcha. Yes! Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? 
My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the boat! Writing before the floor collapses. Thor. 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 Thanks. 
the boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. You know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? I'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny, I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. There. Ah, oh, yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? Jarl's stone was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons Will showed you up. Focus on your damn you quit that shit. I mean it. I walked away. May Uncle that beast of the year. Believes him, so do we. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me. Those men, what do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story that one, Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa, oh, and a sister named... Weapons. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi? Ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mason's shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid, but <laughs> who am I talking to? Where shall we begin? <gasps> How about you, young one? Or, never mind then. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? I can't remember the last time you faced an actual challenge. Or you call this a challenge. An old man and his stillborn. Oh. Oh, they're cruel, they're bleeding! Keep 
see! Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh, no, 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 no. Come here, Harry Reed. You don't know that is that. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> I can't believe you've lasted this long. But those skinny little arms can bear it. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh! You are more than happy to teach. <laughs> Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him.
enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. If vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <laughs> Did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Yes, yes, come in! Yes, dear boy? If you're not in a hurry... I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. <laughs>
Look, back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden vault is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Loon of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. something out there? That tower! I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Ooh! Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. The entrance to Tyr's vault is at the bottom of these stairs, whenever you decide it's time to go after the Black Rune, yeah? Hey, uh, where it is someone put down that loudmouth Magni? Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? 
Bad thing for you when his daddy finds out. But one less Aesir farting around suits me just fine. In fact, next upgrade is on the house. Really? No. Wow.